Hi, welcome to this short Exegi demo. My name is Silvia, and today I'll quickly go over how your team can use Exegi to get better organized and become more productive. First of all, we'll be looking at what Exegi is and what you can use it for. Then we'll go through its main features and the way you can customize it to make it your own. And finally, we'll be discussing the deployment options as well as the pricing. Most companies use a wide range of tools to collaborate and capture knowledge. If you've ever wasted time trying to find the right version of a document in an old email thread, you're probably familiar with the frustration of not finding the right information when you need it. And the same applies to chat and other communication tools that are great at keeping people connected, but not ideal for finding the right information just when you need it. And this is the problem that XWiki solves. It allows your team to create, capture, and organize knowledge in one single place with open source software. XWiki serves many use cases such as intranet, documentation, knowledge base, or procedures. Thousands of organizations, from startups to large enterprises, are using XWiki every day. And this includes our company, where we've been working remotely for almost 16 years, and our tool has helped keep everyone on the same page. But let's jump right in and look at the features. For this demo, we set up a wiki from scratch, and the layout of the wiki is mobile responsive and simple to use. At the top right, you'll find a link to the administration. The easiest way to onboard your team is for the admin to create the users and set up permissions for them. While we believe collaboration should be open, sometimes there might be the case where you need to grant specific rights to information. And in XWiki, there are two levels of permissions at the whole wiki level and at the page level. You can choose who gets to view and edit content. All users will be able to customize their profile and visit other profiles through the user directory. Users will be able to create a hierarchy by adding pages inside other pages. For example, you could have a documentation page inside a project inside a portfolio. This keeps the wiki organized and tidy. The hierarchy is also visible in the navigation panel on the left. So let's move on and create a page. You can do so from scratch or use an existing template. The WYSIWYG editor will help you easily add text, images, videos, emoji, and even macros. If you enjoy working directly with the syntax, you can also do that by going to the source. Page history is saved, so you can easily compare versions or roll back to your previous state. You can share the newly created page with other users and also collaborate through contextual annotations and comments. Pages can then be exported to PDF and other formats. To stay updated, you can set up notifications so that you're alerted when documents are created or updated with content and comments. Apart from storing knowledge, a common need for your team will be to find the right information as soon as they need it. The search engine on the top right is the go-to place for looking up documents. You'll be able to filter and sort results, but also customize the search according to your needs. Tagging pages is also a great way to group and find content across the site. Next, you'll want to customize the wiki to make it your own. And this is where XWiki really shines, with the unique ability to add structure to pages. This gives users the power to create apps in just a few minutes with no coding skills required. So let's say that the HR team needs a wiki to manage holiday requests, recruitment, inventory, and team buildings. The best part is they won't need the development team to set it up. The HR team can easily create an app for each of these needs using the drag and drop interface. Each app home will have a life table that makes it easy to sort and filter the entries. There are also hundreds of apps across the XWiki ecosystem, which can be found on the XWiki store and the open source extension site. Some of the most popular are the blog, diagrams, file manager, meetings, but also integrations with Google, Office 365, on the Office, Microsoft Active Directory, or Jira. If you're a developer, you might want to know that XWiki has a RESTful API and you can take things further when expanding the existing functionality. XWiki SaaS also offers development services for customizing the platform. So now that you've heard about the features and the apps, let's talk a bit about how you can set up XWiki. It's available both on-premise and in the cloud, and being open source, XWiki can be downloaded for free and installed on-premise. 
The cloud is the most convenient way to run Xwiki as we take care of the installation, hosting and upgrades, maintenance and backups. For cloud, there's a free one month trial and then you can purchase the service for a monthly or yearly subscription. The pricing is based on the number of users that you create. And more info on the pricing can be found at xwiki.com slash yen slash pricing. Now we mentioned at the beginning that Xwiki is open source, but why is that important? Because there is a whole community of users and developers working on making Xwiki better every day. Additionally, we don't have a cloud lock-in, so if for any reason you decide you'd like to install Xwiki locally and move your data there, you can do so at any time. I hope this demo has helped you get a better understanding of Xwiki, and I invite you to try it out at try.xwiki.com. If you have any questions, you can also reach out through our contact form on the website. Thank you very much.